Good morning, Libra, or good afternoon. I think it's about 12 o'clock. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine. I'm doing a Libra March reading this afternoon. <laughs> it's the first for the month of March, so it'll be kind of um, general, so to speak. And the cards will obviously decide on what the message is for you. It's no theme per se. At least I'm not imposing one. <laughs> so we're going to start with a makeshift card. Uh, it's a deck I created uh, recently, very, very recently. So let's see what comes up for you, Libra, in March. Please be patient. I, I really want this card to come out by itself. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Q. Okay, so you might be in line for something. Uh, we get the impression here that you're waiting on something. Um, but it's coming, right? Because you're in line for it. If you're deciding to wait in queue, it means it's worth it for you. Uh, it's meaningful to you. So let's see what the tarot points um, to what this thing can be for you in March. First card out, Queen of Cups in reverse. Same for this deck, I'm going to wait for the cards to come out. Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse. That's an interesting, so two queens in both in reverse with the Two of Swords. You know, The way I'm placing the cards on the table, I'm doing this. It's like a fork in the road. <laughs> so let's keep pulling. Oh, wow. A big bunch uh, fell. I'm going to take them because they really turned for you. One, two, three, five cards. So death in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse, the star, five of swords, and the two of wands. Okay, all of these. I find it extremely interesting that we have another two here. Um, we also have basically two fives. So it's another combination where I'm seeing two paths, two paths, <laughs> two sides or two alternatives or two directions, two realities, two time frames. <laughs> So I'm actually going to rearrange something on the table. So what I'm doing is um, I'm putting the Five of Pentacles with Death in reverse. Because of the sequence, the cards came out. But I did put the Two of Wands in the middle. Um, I might show you, I might tilt the camera afterwards, but I am associating the star with the five of swords on the other side. So basically the two queens, two fives, two major arcanas and the two twos. Okay, so it's extremely symmetrical. Uh, so let me show you. I hope you can see, maybe not all of it, but the two queens are here. The two twos, two fives, and the two major arcanas. So, 
Um, pretty interesting that it's complete mirror image here. So let's look at the two sides. The Queen of Cups, uh, very sensitive, um, feels very hurt at the moment. Um, she's feeling stuck and she's also feeling um, <laughs> like she's been left out on the side. Even if the card is in reverse, the sentiment here for her is having, uh, having been abandoned, abandoned or simply, you know, set on the side or somewhat baffled that's one energy and then the queen of wands <laughs> she's very pride uh, proud proud <laughs> so being in reverse her pride is affected much more than her feelings right her emotions so it's a different energy than the queen of cups and uh, in terms of pride, you know, she's she's reacting strongly, um, verbally expressing um, either injustice uh, or having felt, you know, deprived or, of. It's interesting because I just used the word deprived, the verb. Deprived would actually go better here with the Five of Pentacles on the Queen of Cups side. On the Five of Swords side. So let me say that deprived would be the experience of the Queen of Cups. Uh, the experience of the Queen of Wands, I'm retracting the word deprived. It's much more feeling reactive, uh, a little bit explosive as well. I'm mostly being extremely verbal about it. Um, so the Queen of Cups is feeling stuck, uh, feeling like there's no way out of a situation versus the other Queen of Wands here on the other side um, is feeling hopeful about the future and is actually feeling even more hopeful uh, basically, they think that the more they react, the more they um, express themselves about uh, what they feel has um, hurt their pride. It feels like it puts them in a situation or a position or gives them a feeling that the future looks bright or brighter <laughs> or bright for them. Basically, they're defending themselves <laughs> and um, feeling like they're successful at it. Whereas the Queen of Cups is uh, shying away, of course, um, much more, I'm going to say it, maybe much more conflicted in terms of, you know, having the emotions um, unbalanced. So it's more difficult for her. And because uh, she's feeling this way, um, she feels like there's no way out. Maybe she doesn't see here, you know, even if the two of swords is in reverse. He, it's kind of saying that a decision could be made, the blindfold would be coming off, but I'm not really sensing that it's huge clarity. Um, to be honest, um, it's really status quo with this, even if the card is in reverse. And the fact that the 
being in reverse, the two swords point uh, downwards this way, but they're really indicating, I mean, the way the cards are placed, they're really pointing to each side here. It's like a real split. The other thing that's really uh, beautiful in this card is that if you look at the lines that are drawn here, it looks like a road, like the drawing of a road, uh, like an endless road here. This would be the horizon line. So this would be, so it, it's a journey. I heard road trip also. I heard um, it's it's something about distance and traveling the distance. So I'm going to point out something I need to show you like on the on the card. Uh, I mean, I'll tilt the <laughs> I'm tilting the camera to show you the cards. <laughs> Here, the two of wands is facing this way. And he's holding the ball, the, the world, the crystal ball here uh, on this side. And if you look at the two of swords, the moon here is on this side. So this is on the side of the Queen of Cups. So I'm showing you this because it matters. It shifts the weight of the card, right? So what I'm sensing is that the Queen of uh, Cups is the one. Did I say Queen of Swords? That's interesting. Anyway, the Queen of Cups is the one that is, in this case, in this reading, um, I guess the most affected or the most impacted or the most negatively impacted um so there's a lot of um you know moon energy on her side so the emotions are clearly clearly being um stirred and this crystal ball could be seen as the moon again could be seen as the sun or the earth or any planets <laughs> any asteroid if you want i mean but I'm going to use the moon here, or the earth. But overall, the most important thing is the fact that the weight is shifting, and I think it's a form of support. It's indicating, like, just how much the emotions are stirred. It's indicating, like, the sensitivity that is there, and also maybe the more shadowy side, of course, of being isolated in, in the dark you know, versus being in the, in the spotlight here for the star, for the Queen of Wands. And so even just in terms of elements, the Queen of Cups is water, so she's, she's from the depths, whereas the Queen of Wands is the fire, so she's like akin to the, the fire and the sunshine. So she would be daylight. So it's a night and day reading, um, so on the side of the Queen of Cups, it's everything that is below this, the un the conscious, like so all the unconscious, all of that is expressed by the moon energy, the feelings, everything that is maybe not seen, only felt, or, you know, kind of felt, you know, you think, you perceive intuitively right there's nothing rational about this but it is unsettling for this queen so libra you're a double sign right so you're two-sided um this could be a perfect example of two sides of your personality personality it could be you versus someone else of course your relationship with this other person but it's just striking the mirror. Um, it's a perfect mirror image between the two individuals. So 
to go back to the queue. I don't know if both individuals are waiting. I don't know if they're, they could be obviously waiting because there's a status quo, even if the card is in reverse, um, it's still an energy of, it's not an action card per se, although I'm sensing that there would be traveling involved at some point. There's, um, I'm hearing it's a long road ahead. Or at least there's something, um, there's a goal, there's there's a either a place to go to, uh, something to be found, you know, there's something further out that needs to be traveled towards. And a lot of it is um, hinges on, I do want to say the dream world. Uh, for both parties, for both queens here, there's, but there's still the idea that there's some waiting um, involved, you know, definitely some waiting involved here for both queens. And if we're really, really looking at a cue, um, for me, the Queen of Wands is ahead of the Queen of Cups in this situation. Um, the weight of the emotions and of the moon energy that I was sensing uh, on the Queen of Cups side is actually dragging her down or slowing her down. Uh, so she's not traveling as fast as the Queen of Wands. We also sense it. Um, the Five of Swords is, is very speedy. Um, it's in your face. Uh, much more... Um, it's an outward energy, right? It's being put out. Whereas the Five of Pentacles is an inward energy. So again, another really strong moon-like uh, energy. I'm going to draw trinkets. Um, I'm actually going to draw trinkets on the major arcanas. So I'm going to start with um, I am going to start with uh, the Queen of Cups side with Death in Reverse. Four leaf clover. It's an um, interesting, it's um, obviously an Irish symbol. <laughs> it's also luck, it's also uh, exclusive, rarity, um, unique, you know, one of a kind. It kind of reminds me of the rose, the white, the white rose, uh, kind of. You could even think that this bead here, if you put it in the center, it could even be the center of the rose. <laughs> so, the, the, the energy of the moon that I was telling you, the weight is shifted. And although the Queen of Cups is like behind in the queue, I do think she gets support. I do think that she gets divine support here. Um, even if she's in a position of being very, very slowed down, you know, and to the point of being paralyzed, maybe. Or at least feeling like there's no way out or there's no solution, resolution. Um, and mostly no movement, so a lot of stagnation. The frozen in time kind of um, energy. So she's getting support, uh, divine support. Let's look at the star energy for the Queen of Wands in reverse. Ah, uh, beautiful. 
the lotus flower. So a beautiful energy of um, blossoming. It's interesting because I mentioned to you like the idea that this could um, point to a flower because I was looking at the white rose here. And, you know, this is a flower. <laughs> And in this case, we have the star, right? So we also get the imagery of blossoming, opening up, um, divine support. Both sides are getting divine support. This reading is weird because it's so mirror-like, like perfectly mirror-like. Like I can't even, I can't even get the reading to to eventually break and split and change and and show like A and B. It's it keeps going from A to A prime, A double prime. You know what? Like it just it doesn't. Uh, it just keeps going. It keeps staying symmetrical and similar and mirror like. So Libra, honestly, I will uh, truly have to hand it over to you um, so that you decide if it's really just two sides of yourselves and if you feel this way in two different ways or if you're behaving in two different ways towards different, different situations. So being closed off maybe more on one side towards one particular situation and maybe more verbally um, involved uh, in another situation. I don't know if that's what your reality is. I think maybe you're dealing with someone or that you have someone that is like your alter ego or your doppelganger. Is that doppel? Uh, what is it called? Doppel? Get yeah. Hanger, ganger, <laughs> I can't say it, but when you have somebody that looks just like you in the world, <laughs> it's exactly this energy. So I'm not sure uh, what else to say because it, it's so symbolic that I don't want to give it any, I guess, I don't want to try to illustrate it in a everyday life kind of, uh, setting or situation or description I'm going to leave it up to you really to um, to connect the dots <laughs> so thank you so much for listening in I do appreciate that greatly um, I hope to see you again very soon please like the video you can share of course and subscribe I'll see you soon good night uh, good night <laughs> good day I usually uh film at night so it, that just came out uh naturally anyways enjoy your saturday bye